In this video, you will learn how to install a SurfSight camera in your vehicle using Geotab's HRN Tino harness. The SurfSight camera package contains the following items. For this demonstration, we will install the SurfSight camera in a Ford F-150. Use heat shrink to insulate any unused wires on the Tino harness. In this installation, you will need to connect the SurfSight camera to the power cable then to the T-Null harness through the black Molex connector, and then the T-Null harness to the GO device in your vehicle using the USB port. Begin by locating the GO device in your vehicle. In most cases, the device is installed near the OBD2 port under the driver's dashboard. Remove the dash panels to locate the GO device and access the USB connector. Next, use an alcohol-based wipe to clean the area on the windshield where the SurfSight camera will be installed. Dry the area to ensure all excess alcohol is removed. Temporarily power up the SurfSight camera using the cabling provided in the kit. Once the SurfSight camera is powered on, it will go through a startup sequence. After startup, tap the screen, then enter the four-digit PIN to enable the SurfSight camera. Press Live View to verify that Camera 1 provides an optimal, forward-facing view. Also verify that Camera 2 clearly shows the driver and passengers. After determining the exact location for the SurfSight camera, remove the film from the adhesive. Then, mount the SurfSight camera to the windshield. Apply pressure for 30 seconds. At this point, using the screwdriver provided, tighten the three security screws to fix the SurfSight camera to the previously determined location. If the mirror is obstructing access to the screws, you may need to remove the SurfSight camera from its base first. Proceed to install the SurfSight AI-12 tamper-proof case by snapping it into position. Ensure the case is not pinching the wire. Tighten the two screws with the screwdriver to secure the case. The device is ready to be installed. Remove dash panels as needed in order to route cabling from the SurfSight camera to the GO device. Slide the SurfSight camera back onto the base that was previously attached to the windshield until it locks into place. Route the cable in the headliner toward the A-pillar. Use cable ties to secure the cable. Stay clear of any obstructions such as airbags. Trim any excess tie. Continue routing the cable through the dash and toward the GO device as needed. Next, connect the black 8-pin connector on the SurfSight camera cable to the t harness. Ensure that it locks into place. Take the USB connector on the t harness and route it through the dash to the GO device. Remove the IOX expansion port cover. Connect the t harness to the IOX expansion port on the GO device. 
Use a cable tie to secure the connection. Trim any excess tie. Bundle up all of the excess cabling using cable ties and secure them in a suitable location under the dashboard. Trim any excess tie. Next, ensure both cameras are functional. Go to Settings and press Calibration to finalize the installation. Proceed to reattach all dash panels. The installation is now complete.